What are the chances of me having penile cancer? What I want to talk to you today is about foreskin cancer. Now, I'm not an expert on foreskin cancer, but I do know this. I've seen hundreds of men who've come to me with a fear, or a deep, deep fear, that they've got cancer of the foreskin. And when I've had a look at it, it's always a yeast infection. A fungal infection in the foreskin so what I'm saying to you is for your own peace of mind by all means go to your doctors and get yourself checked out show him your penis and say show him the foreskin it might be swollen and red and inflamed and lumps in it and say I think I've got foreskin cancer and he will put your mind at rest and it's worth having okay but all the people I've seen it's been a case of Killing the fungus off, which is very quick, simple and easy to do. And then making sure it doesn't come back, which is also quick, simple and easy to do. Now, if you go to the doctors, once he's put your mind at rest and, and he's explained that it's not cancer. What they'll do then, they'll say those magic words, no problem. And they'll give you a, a prescription for a tube of this drug. It's like a white cream and you smear it round the end of the penis, you'll smear it all over the end of your gland on the head, and you'll put it behind the foreskin, all over. And it'll help to reduce the inflammation and the soreness and the pain. But it doesn't go away, for some reason. This stuff just isn't strong enough. So it's important you know what's going on. You see, the penis, this isn't about your personal hygiene. What it is, it's about your immune system. You're covered in funguses. We all are. It's, that's how it's supposed to be. You've got thousands of different types of fungus inside your body, which you need for a healthy digestion. And you've got thousands on the outside of your body, which you need to be healthy and alive. Now, if you've got a problem, or maybe you've been stressed, overworked, not exercising, or something, your diet's not too good, it throws your body out of balance, maybe acid or alkaline, or whatever, but the wrong type of fungus starts to breed on your body. And you, the end of your penis is a perfect breeding ground. It's warm, it's dark, it's damp, and there's plenty of food. And the food is the skin of the foreskin. Hmm? So, it's not about personal hygiene. You cannot wash this off. So, this is what you do. As I say... You can go along, you can try that stuff, the cream. Then, men go back to the doctors and they say, well, doctor, that didn't work. Uh, what else have you got? And the doctor will say, oh, a bit reluctantly, they'll give you this. And it's called fluconazole. And it's just, there's diff very many different types, but it's a drug that ends in A-Z-O-L-E. Azole. And these are very powerful, toxic drugs. In that big box, there's one pill. That one pill will destroy all the fungus in your body. It'll be like a wasteland. All the good stuff and all the bad stuff. It will kill all the funguses on your penis and genitals. All the good stuff and all the bad stuff. So your inflamed foreskin will not be inflamed after about a week and you think oh thank god for that it's all sorted but it hasn't it's killed all the good stuff and all the bad stuff which means the bad stuff can now start to come back and there's nothing to defend your penis there's nothing to defend your foreskin so in about five or six weeks you've got an inflamed foreskin again and it's even worse than it was before and you can think oh i've got cancer and you haven't <laughs> It's a fungal overgrowth, and it's very simple to kill, but not with these toxic drugs. Now, about 12 years ago, um, I dedicated a certain amount of time to helping men sort this problem out once and for all. And we came up with this remedy, Balanitis Doctor. It's a blend of very powerful plant extracts, and they are organic, completely natural, mother nature, but just a couple of drops and it's a completely clear liquid you just need just a couple of drops I don't know if you can see that on the end of the finger and you just massage it into the foreskin 
massage it into the end of the gland, the penis. You can massage it anywhere on the penis, and the scrotum, the backside, wherever. Wherever you feel it's inflamed. It'll kill off the fungus on contact. But it will not damage your skin. It won't damage your foreskin. So, now get this. You apply this stuff three times a day. Once in the morning, once during the day, and once before bedtime. So, three times a day, and you do that for three days. Then, your inflamed foreskin problem will be gone. Nine times out of ten, the inflammation's gone in 48 hours. So then you've got rid of your inflamed foreskin. But then what you've got to do is make sure it doesn't come back. So once a week after that, just to have a bath or a shower, whatever you do, and even though you haven't got an inflamed foreskin anymore, you, you know you haven't got cancer, you know all of that, it's just you've got a nice clean foreskin, apply this stuff once a week. It's very beautiful, fresh fragrance to it. Doesn't interfere with your sex life. And that's another quick point. If you have got a yeast infection and you've got a partner, the chances are your partner may have it as well. You can use this remedy to get rid of a yeast infection in your partner. You can apply it to a vagina, uh, inside the vagina, to the lips to the vagina. There's no problem whatsoever. It'll kill the fungus in the, for the lady as well. Okay? And that's it. Now, comes in an envelope like that. There's a link below this video. If you contact us, we'll send this out to you today. As soon as you've got it, inside is one bottle that will last you at least six months. And there's the, the technical information as well. And that's it. We can get it sent out to you today. So there's a link below the video. And could I also ask, while you're here, can you subscribe to us so that we can share um, more videos with you? And if you've got any comments on this video, feel free to leave anything you wish. All right, let's get it sorted. And remember, if you haven't got cancer, by all means get it checked out. But get peace of mind and get on with your life and enjoy yourself. All right, bye for now.